Hey peeps, and welcome back once again to my channel. I have something sweet stirred up for you guys today, and literally, super sweet. So right now is the perfect time for hot coffee, hot lattes, all that good stuff. I am going to show you how to make keto hot chocolate. It's a low carb, low calorie, great for people who are diabetics or on keto, and it's super delicious and super easy to make. This is not your very um, high fat keto hot chocolate because this is gonna be like a lower fat version or actually no fat pretty much in it. Um, because I am not gonna use any heavy cream. So maybe you are clicking on some YouTube videos to find a better alternative to crave your sweet tooth, right? Yeah, me too, all the time. That is my problem. I love sweet things. But instead of grabbing that Snickers, instead of grabbing that Pepsi, which that combination is super awesome, but instead of doing that and ruining what you've been working for all day long, all week long, all month long, whatever it is, stop right there. You have come to the right place to get a better alternative and an awesome delicious recipe that you can give yourself and also your family. So if you know of someone who will enjoy a hot, creamy, hot chocolate recipe that is not only low calorie, but also low carb, I'm gonna ask you to press like, subscribe to my channel, and most important, turn on those notifications on so you can watch all my other videos that I'll be posting. Down on the video, I'm gonna show you exactly what the calories are in this drink, what the macros are, most importantly. Right over here, I have my ingredients. I am going to use water, and in here I have my little stevia packet, so I'm gonna use one of those. Um, also, I will be using the Tarani sugar-free vanilla syrup. My favorite, the Califia um, toasted coconut almond milk. Um, Hershey's cocoa, 100% cacao, naturally and sweet. It has no added sugars, which is most important. Um, and in here I have a little bit of cinnamon that I will be using. And another really big and important ingredient is my cacao nibs. I am so passionate about finding out new recipes because foremost, I wanna keep my health on track. I uh, was diagnosed with diabetes uh, last, not last year, the year before, 2017, November 2017. And I think it is super important to live a healthier lifestyle and change your ways so you don't have those spikes in blood sugars. Um, but also so you can know what you are consuming. Um, we are going to go ahead and start this, and this is gonna make a good um, 16 ounce cup of hot chocolate. I'm going to put, and I'm spilling everything, I am going to put one cup, eight ounces of water, and it's already, my little pot is already heating. Okay, and what I do, Okay, if you get the cacao nibs, you cannot put the cacao nibs into that water because what's gonna happen is those cacao nibs will not dissolve. It, what I do is I will grab a whole tablespoon of cacao nibs, put it in my little Hamilton Beach uh, blender, and I'll blend it, okay? And it's pulverizing in there. I am going to go ahead and put it in here. Then, what I'll do to this hot water, I like to add pretty much my ingredients to this. Um, and I add a whole tablespoon of the Hershey's uh, cocoa, and you can use whatever organic or 100% cacao or cocoa that you wanna use. All right, and then here we go again. The cinnamon. I will put only a quarter of a teaspoon in there. Okay, like I said, I've played with this recipe, guys, and the cinnamon has to go in there. It is so good, and it just makes everything so much better, okay? Okay, and right over here. Now, you definitely do not need this. I usually use a little uh, saucepan just like this, and it's already heating up. It's perfect and it smells delicious, guys. Oh my goodness, it smells so good. Um, and you don't really need this. 
you can just get a little saucepan and put your milk in there and heat it up and it'll do the same thing and whisk it at the same time. Or if you have a handheld um, little whisker thing, then you can go ahead and do that. But we are going to do the almond milk and the almond milk, guess what? I am going to do eight ounces. Of and I went to Target today and I got me a cute little cup. So freaking cute, I love it. it looks like little fishes on there. It's like a Chrissy, Chrissy Teigen cup. Super cute. Okay, I am all about mugs. I love coffee, I love my mugs. I just love in the morning just to feel so special with my little mug. Okay, that's tacky, but whatever. So I have my little um, frother on, okay? And I will slip this in here and start heating up uh, my milk. And like I said, this will take a little while, but... <laughs> All right, so I turned off the little steamer off. I'm just gonna drag it over here. I usually want a little paper towel for that. But look at that almond milk. Super amazing and super ready for you to put pour your awesome, good hot chocolate in there. Okay, now I am going to go ahead and put one stevia packet in here. And the most, by far the most important, well, one of the most important um, ingredients is going to be this sugar-free uh, Tarani vanilla syrup. So I will put two tablespoons, and believe me, you need two tablespoons of this, not one, two of them, okay? And that is gonna make it amazing. And here is my awesome little frothy almond milk that I have ready. And I will just pour this in here. So that is it guys. Like I said, this recipe is super fast, super simple. The only thing I would suggest is maybe get a bigger mug. Can't look at the ounces on the mugs because mine was a little bit too small for the 16 ounces. But nonetheless, guys, this is amazing right now. And it is just gonna be enough to curb that sweet tooth that I've been having and just enjoy a little hot chocolate. I hope you guys love this recipe and share it guys, share it. Like I said, I once was a diabetic, I reversed my diabetes and just keeping up that lifestyle so you can not have those blood sugar spikes, that is the most important thing for a diabetic. This is a great recipe, I hope you guys love it. And like I said before in the beginning of my video, make sure you press like, you subscribe, and make sure that you turn on your notifications so you can start seeing these videos and help you with your journey and help you be successful. All right guys, thank you so much for watching, thanks.